Hey, yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Ryan. Come back on the video. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Derek Valerie. So, before we get into this video, guys, only 5% of you guys that watch my videos are subscribed. Come on, guys. We need to get a lot. You know, I need to get it to at least 50% of the people that watch my videos are subscribed. You know, because I see this and I think, damn, you know, you guys need to subscribe because 50 subscribers, I'd be dropping what the merch will look like. 100, I'd be dropping that merch. You know, I want to see the support. And then down below in the description below is going to be the podcast for me where me and my friend are going to be talking. We're going to be trying getting some high school athletes, you know, us telling some crazy stories that have happened to us and all this other stuff. But, you know, I want to see that support down below. So, yeah, guys, remember to smash that like button, leave a comment down below, and let us know. So, let's get right into this. Junior highlights, you know. Tight end, DN, long snapper, you know. 6'4", 215, nice height, nice weight, you know, good size. Ranked 13 in the state. You know, I, I you know, they don't really update New York State. That's the thing that makes me upset. You know, I will mention all county as a junior. We're taking a look at his offense and his defense. Then we're going to take a look at his long snapping. Okay. Let's see. You know, runs a vert, able to get out wide open right there. That's a nice job right there. You know, he's a fast. He's fast for his size. You could easily see that, you know. You know, able to get out, push the guy down, makes a play. But, you know, nice job able to get up. You know, makes a nice play right there. I'm not, you know, it seems like, you know, I'm not comparing him to Rutgers because Rutgers an animal, and I could definitely, you know, it's a nice block right there, you know. Throws him to the ground, but you see, look. Take a look at this. I'm sorry, guys, I shouldn't be going back on these. But you take a look at this, you know, makes a nice block, one block, and then he just stands up. And does nothing, you know. I want to, you know, either go up or get on top of him, like make it better play. Nice job, able to get open right there, you know. Able to get wide open right there, makes a nice play. Let's see, you know, sticks both of them right here. But what he's doing, yeah, yeah, he's pushing them, you know, makes his uh, the receiver have to, you know, slow down a little bit, you know, physical with it right here, you know, able to. Where is it? He comes. I forgot where he was. Here it is. Uh, it doesn't matter. But he makes. He, he's just a blocker. It's just super hard with the, the pink uniforms. He comes up. You know. Gets a nice block. Okay. Makes a nice play right there. Okay. Comes out. Goes for a nice out. You know, his route isn't the cleanest. Makes a nice catch right there. Okay, gets up there, you know, pushes him, you know, it's, he's physical, you know, but he gets, you know, it's flung off, you know, needs to work on grabbing him, you know, making sure that he doesn't give up on the play. Uh, they, they switch it, they switch it so often from him, to, uh, where is it? Because it's this and then it's the green, oh wait, this is, that's why it's easier, that's why, I'm sorry guys. Okay. Nice job. You know, he pushes him, gets him inside. You know, makes a nice block right there. Right there. Okay, comes up field, goes outside. But it's like it's like a weird play right there. Like, it's not, it, it looks like he curves it, makes a, you know, gets a nice catch, gets a nice yardage out of it. But it's like, you know, his route running isn't the cleanest. You could easily see that. You know, gets up, you know, makes a nice job, makes a hole, sticks with him right here. Like, you know, I guess, that, I guess it was just that one play that he didn't stick with him. But, you know, he seems like he's be stick when he's blocking, you know, and he's driving his feet, you know, he's drive, drive, driving his feet, makes a nice play, you know, he's still blocking him, you know. He's physical when it comes down to it, seems like it, you know. You know, makes a nice play, you know, right there, was making a nice block. Okay, gets outside, but, you know, you know, right, uh, where, oh my god, I hate, I hate this. You know, you see right here? He comes up, and, you know, he pushes him, but he goes across, and he seems like he could have went up a little bit more, you know. Or he stuck with the guy a little bit longer. Okay. You know. Makes a nice play on fourth down. It's a huge yardage right there. Makes a nice job, you know. He would get open, you know, and make a solid gain. You know, it's in a very important game, but you know his. 
I don't know what it is, but he just, it could be because, you know, when I played, you know, my team didn't run a lot of, like, passes with the tight end, but he just, like, it's not like it's, he runs, his routes don't as, look as nice as they should really be. Like, it really makes it seem like, you know, you know, he runs, but it's like, like that. It's like, it's just an angle. You know, it's not really a nice route. You know, I wouldn't say that this is like the best block in the world right here. Uh, like you see, he, you know, he's standing, you know, uh, it's a, it's a solid block, but the guys weren't going to make the play at all, you know. All right here. And then he kind of curves inside. It seems like it's like not like a straight one. His route isn't extremely straight. It's like he curves it a little bit when he runs. Let's take, I don't know if this is, makes a nice block right here, you know, pushes him. I wish we could see a little bit more, but, you know, he's pushing them out of the way of the play, you know, makes a nice job right there. You know, able to get in, but it's just, he makes, his route isn't like, you know, a nice normal route. It's like a weird route that isn't like crisp and cream, you'd see. You know, he comes up, does that, and then, you know, oh, actually, that was a nice route. Nice job, he stays in. comes up but it's like it's like it's not a slant it's not like a regular slant you'd see you know because it's not like up and then out it's he curves it like look ready he'll curve it when he runs it i don't know this is a block blocks gets him outside you know sticks with him though like he'll go like this he'll lift his arm underneath and he'll, he'll actually no that was a that one was nice but it seems like you know you know you can see when he does these like slam outs his slam routes aren't really that clean it's a nice job. He's like sticks with them, you know, keeps them. Nobody's he's pushing him more forward, push him to the outside if he's going to do it, you know. Solid athlete, like all around, physical all around. See, pushes him that way, you know, makes a nice hole for him. You know, you can usually see like right here, like. You know, if he's going for the out route right here, you know, you take this. And instead of, like, you know, trying to get outside, he's pushing inside more than anything. Like, I know he's being pushed inside, but, you know, he makes it, like, you know, makes it nice. Actually, let's take a look at this catch. Let's actually take a look at this catch. It looks like it bounces off his foot and he catches it. You know, makes a nice catch right there. It's a solid catch right there. Okay. Nice job. He pushes him inside. You know, makes a nice play. And allows a huge hole. Running back's able to run off his butt. You know, his, when, he, when he does the out routes, it's just not a nice, clean play. You can see, like, like let's take a look at this. Let's look, take a look. Oh, let's go back a little bit. Hmm. Like, look at his footwork when he does this. You know, it's not clean. You know, he kind of, like, almost slips and trips right there. And it's just not as nice of a play as you'd expect it to be. You know, it's not a crisp, clean route where it's just making the guy lose balance. You know, he's almost losing balance. Like, he does that, like, arm swim over it. I'm right here, actually. Let's take a look back. You know, you see, look at this catch. And, you know, he's running it, and... I wish I could see it route, but he jumps a little bit for the catch. You know, doesn't need to jump, which, you know, could waste a few seconds of his time causing the play to, you know, not be as good. And actually, here it is. Here's his slant that he does, but I don't like it, you know. He goes just directly this way. He doesn't come out and then go out. It's like a weird, it's not like a slant. And then he, how is he vertical? Like, he, it doesn't seem like he's running, like, any type of route that you you'd normally see, you know. Makes a nice block, you know, pushes him and he gets out of the way. But, you know, right here, right here you see, like, he get, he makes these blocks and he pushes the guy in the end zone. And yeah. You know, he but he doesn't realize the play's not over yet. You know, what I learned from the Babylon head coach was just drive him. Just drive him. Doesn't matter. You know, at Babylon, I was, this guy, uh, one of my teammates was driving him. He's like, did you, and he didn't hear the whistle, but he was driving him so badly that he stopped. And the other, uh, and the Babylon coach got really mad, you know, 
So you gotta like drive your feet. You gotta drive it no matter what until you hear a whistle. Don't never give up on a play. Always drive your feet no matter what. You know? Makes a nice job, but you see right here? You know, he doesn't really he doesn't really drive through and make a play. Like he stopped and he was able to get a pretty solid gain, you know. And yeah, like you could easily see, you know, makes a nice job right here, but you know. He, his guy was able to make the play because, you know, you see right here, look. You know, right here. You know, drives him. Pushes him. But then he just, you know, pushes him into the play, you know. Not pushing him out of bounds. Not pushing him the other way. At least pushing him out of bounds, you know. Like, definitely working on, you know, blocking the right guy. Like, I get it. Like, you see, he, he didn't want to seem like... He made a big mistake right here. Like, you take a look. Look, he went to block a guy, and it looked like he didn't know where he was going. And he, you know, they were going to make a big play out of this because, you know. But, you know, it seems like, you know, he sometimes gets confused about who he's blocking when he's blocking on offense. You know, makes a nice play right there. Pushes him behind him, and he's able to make a huge play out of it. Right here, he's pushing him, you know. He's sticking with him, able to make a play. But, you know, if, you know, don't want to get two guys on, on one player. Like, you see right here, he's just, he's driving him, he's driving him. But he's, like, you know, not knocking him down, and he's not making a crazy play. Yeah, that's something that he 100% needs to improve on, is working on, you know, if he knocks a guy down, you know, like, again, eh, this guy really didn't get in the play, but, you know, he needs to be, when he does it, you know, he's got to be not giving up on these guys because it seems like that's what he's doing. Like, right? Makes a nice job right here and he sticks with them. But there are times where he kind of feel it makes it seem like he gives up on the play. And, you know, he stops. He just stops driving his feet. The guy just to stand still and he's not moving him. You know, right here, that's a nice job. But, you know, and he's sticking with him right here. You know, there are times where he just doesn't stick with them. And it just causes it, and it causes him to look not as good as what he he should be. I don't I don't know what this is like. It's a weird route. Makes a nice block right there. You know, it was a nice block. You know, got in front of him. And you see right here. You know, able to get in front of him and makes a nice block. And you know, this guy was able to get a few more yards out of it. See, it took him a while. Like you know. Oh, where is it? Uh, and here, like, look, he goes up, you know, and then he wastes time, you know, and this guy, you know, was able to go to middle play, you know, was slow to find a guy to block. You know, and the guy he was blocking, you know, it was the guy that he was getting right here, you know, almost made the play. You know, like, you know, his blocking, he blocks, and he's powerful, but, you know, is he blocking the right way? Is he pushing the guys in the right direction? That's the thing that you got to realize. Like, is he is he pushing them in the right places and in to make these plays? Okay, we're going to check the defensive side. Oh, damn it. Here, I was about to be like, this is a terrible stance. That's a nice job. He's able to come up, you know, chases him down, but, you know, this is a play. You're a tight end. I'm sorry, but you got to make this. You got to pick this off. You got to get something out of this because you're, you're right here. You're right in front of him. You have your hand up and you need to be making that play if you're a tight end, uh, especially since you're a receiving tight end. Like you got to be making that play. You know, if he wasn't a receiving tight end, I'd be saying so otherwise. But, you know, he's not because he's got that. You see the speed. He gets in front of him, though. You know, not a smart play right here. Like, you see, like, you see right here. I'm sorry I went back so far, but look. He's chasing him down. Okay. And now he could make the tackle, but instead he decides to get in front of him. Which, you know, was a huge mistake. You know, he could have tackled him for, you know, and they couldn't have gotten that big of a lead on him. You know, grabs outside. You see right here? You know, when he tackles him, you know, he's being blocked. And then he tries, he grabs outside and he's able to get a few extra yards, you know.
could have shoved him off with his other arm. I see how big and strong he is. He should be able to do that, you know. When a guy doesn't have full control of your body, you can't be doing that. Now, what I am going to say right here is, you know, I don't, I feel like he really didn't force him to throw it out, you know. It seemed like, because if he did, he would have definitely would have been a way worse throw. You know, right here, he's able to get there. He's patient. You know, you're able to see, like, he doesn't come completely upfield, and he's sticking right there at the line of scrimmage just so he doesn't get upfield. And it has to come back to make the tackle. Comes up. You know, makes a nice play, chases him down. Now, this is a play where he forced him to make a bad throw, and it forced him to throw a pick right there. Makes a nice job, you know, drags him down, doesn't allow him to even get to the line of scrimmage, which was a good play. You know, screen got incredibly lucky right there. Like, you know, got baited on the, the screen, you know, exactly what he needed to do. Quarterback didn't throw it high enough, you know. They were able to get the tackle for a loss right there because he caught it, you know. I wouldn't have even thought about catching that. You know, and right there, like, you know, you see he goes right to his knees right here. Let's actually take a look. Look, okay, he's over here. And right, actually, and then he goes right down to his knees. You know, doesn't try and pull him backwards, goes right down to his knees and that so that he could easily get dragged. I don't know if he tipped that, but, you know, made a nice, made a nice play, you know. Definitely could have blocked the vision of the quarterback to make a, a good throw. Fumbled snap. Makes him have a bad throw in completion right there. Gets it. He's able to get upfield really fast and quickly right here. Like, you're able to see. Uh, yeah. Comes upfield. You know, sees it. Pushes the guy out of the way. And he's able to make a nice play right there. You know, waits until the other guy's out a little bit. And he's able to push him out of the way and make a play. You know, right here, he didn't even need to touch this guy. This guy didn't touch him at all. Able to come up field and make a play right there. That's a nice job. You know, does comes untouched and he's able to get up field. You know, it just seems like, you know, a lot of these plays, you know, he's not, his big plays are just, you know, them not touching him and tr supposedly trying to read him and, you know, they, they don't read them well. Now, right here. He, he What he did was he sp went outside. And, you know, got pushed out a lot outside. He was able to get a few, a, a solid amount of yardage because he didn't, he didn't fill that hole and make, and have him make a play. You know, able to get upfield. It was a bad snap and he was able to make a play out of that. You know, he's a strong physical kid, you know, 100% can improve, you know, you could easily see like, you know, his strength and power, you know, isn't there. He's fast, but when he meets a guy that's even a little bit faster than him, he's not gonna be able to make plays, you know, he's a fast kid, you know. But if he's got to chase down a receiver, he's gonna get, he's gonna get beat. You know, quarterback, you know, he's able to get a huge gain out of him. You see, and he and he's got he's he's staying with him, you know. This guy, this guy's going on with him, and he's able to make a huge play. And you know, you're able to chase him down, yeah. But he was able to get like 20, 30 yards. You know, anybody could have made that. Anybody with their speed could have made that play. You know. You no, know, you're fast, but you know you're not taking the right pursuit angles to make plays sooner rather than later because you're just in in the mood to just use your speed instead of actually using proper angles, you know. Let's see. You know. Could it, right this, I don't know if you tipped it cuz it doesn't look like it was tipped at all. Guy just dropped it it seemed like. You know, I don't know if you tipped it or not. Like I'm not going to say anything. You know, comes unblocked. Quarterback makes hits him. 
quarterback makes a bad throw right there. Like, that's a good job by you. You know, it makes them have a bad throw. Let's look at your long snaps. Okay. Oh, it's just, it's not even seeing what he does afterward. You know, he's not coming up downfield as fast as he should be, you know. You know, there are times where he's like, you know, he snaps it. You know, you're supposed to go upfield. And then there are other times where, you know, he just stays there and is patient. Okay, this is this is not a good snap. Like, you could easily see, look, ready? Take a look at this snap. It was short a little bit. And he had to, like, fumble around with it. You know, that that's a good snap right there. Another good snap. You know, he's able to get it sometimes, but, you know, sometimes his snaps aren't there. Right there, that's a good snap, you know. You know, this kid, he's a solid all-around player. Like, I'm, But he's just, you know, can improve on, you know, definitely offensively, you know, working on his route running because it's not at all, like, clean in a way. And if, especially since he's a receiving tight end, you know, more than a, more than just a blocking tight end, you know, he catches a lot of balls. So, you know, he's got to learn to to get his route running a lot more crisp than what it really is. But, you know, something else that he should work on is definitely, like, defensively, like, understanding what's going on because it seems like he's just relying on his speed, needs to work on his pursuit angles because that's huge, you know. Because being able to pursue a guy is a lot better than just using your speed. Because, you know, I've seen a lot of guys, like, you, you, him having to chase down Jamari Bell, Keyshawn Paris, you know, he's not going to be able to do what he's doing right here if he wants to get to the next level. Like, you know, he has to be able to understand these angles of pursuit to be able to become the player that he, that, you know, you can easily see that he could become with his athleticism all around. You know, that's something that he needs to take. He needs to take that next step into not just being that physical player, but being able to be up to that mental capacity that he could be to become the player that you can easily see that he becomes in high school. But if he wants to get to the next level, you know, he's got to get to that mental level of where you see all these other players at in that second other level. But yeah, guys, remember to like, subscribe, and comment down below and subscribe to my podcast channel if you wouldn't mind. But yeah, guys, smash that like button, comment down below, and yeah, peace.